Omar Uresti joins us here on Wisconsin.golf after a nice round of 68 here at the Open Qualifying for the AmFam Championship. And Omar, um, I don't know how, how much you knew about uh, the Bergamont. Um, what was your round like today, and uh, and how, how good do you feel about a 68? Um, you know, unfortunately, there's no wind uh, for the 68. I don't know if it's going to hold up today. It's playing kind of easy. I, at least I felt like it was. Um, it was my third round on Bergamont. I played it last week, came in town early. Uh, I know, I've known Jack Gaudian, uh, the, the new owner, since I was 11. So, wow. Yeah, so I came up early to get one or two practice rounds in. And, you know, I felt pretty confident out there or comfortable. And, you know, I was playing really well. And unfortunately, I finished with a couple of bogeys to shoot four under. I was six under at one point. Wow. How many of these do you chase? I know you, you, you do a lot now in the, in the PG of America, correct? Uh, I do, I do. Um, I haven't chased very many of these. This is probably my third, third or fourth one this year. Mm -hmm. That's it. And uh, what's it like coming out here for one of these? I mean, you know, like you said, you got to go low. Yeah. And uh, is it a different mindset from the very first swing? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you you got to attack. Um, you know, you got to play aggressive golf and attack, and you know, just hope you can uh, get it going. What? Uh, uh, what drew you to this particular one? You said Jack. I mean, how, how did you get to know him, and, and what, what's your history with Jack? Well, uh, when I was about 11, 12 years old, he started working at the bag room at my home club at Onion Creek Club in Austin. Wow. And we started the Legends of Golf tournament. We were the, the first club to host a senior tour event, and that was the Legends of Golf. Really? And that's where the legends of Brandy Brook and Bergamont, Bergamont and, and, all the, yeah, and all that and came from. So um, he worked his way up to head pro. Um, he was there... Must have been there for a good 10, almost 10 years mm -hmm. um, before he moved on and came up here eventually and did bigger and greater things. So did you tell him to come or did he tell you to come up here or did you see that this was played at one of his courses? Um, I saw it was, you know, well, I knew it was close to one of his courses. Mm -hmm. I didn't know at first when uh, I signed up that it was one of his, but I wanted to come up and hang, hang out with him for a little while. And I hadn't seen him in a few years. So, you know, we always try to get together every now and then. How much, I mean, you're very competitive in the PG of America events, uh, you know, the, the National Club Pro, those kind of things. What, wh it, where is golf in your, in, and what do you do in the PG of America? Are you a, a classified teaching pro? No, what's, what's the status now? I'm actually a life member of the PG of America. Gotcha. Um, I'm a quarter century member as well, nice. so I've been paying my dues for 25 years. Sure. Uh, give a few lessons here and there, host a first tee fundraiser every year. Nice. So we you know, raise around $30,000 every year for the first tee of Austin. Um, and just kind of, you know, so and teach a little bit and do a lot of outings. Did you and Guy kind of feed off each other? I know, you know, you both came in at 68. Looked like you were. Yeah, you know, early, connected. early on we did for sure. Um, and I think he did at the end. And unfortunately, I faltered at the end. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. If you do get in, what would that mean to you and a and, uh, chance to play in a, in a regular champions event? It would mean a great deal to me, especially um, being up here near Jack and uh, just, you know, such a nice area. It's first time to Madison. I've been to Milwaukee lots. But, sure. Uh, so I really enjoy it. Uh, I am enjoying it. So we'll see what transpires. Great. Well, Omar, thanks for your time.